else had failed, the Pharisees had failed, and the scribes failed, and everybody else failed, they thought they, they knew how to put Jesus in his place. <coughs> By the way, we still run into this today. I still run into people today who believe there is no God, and there is no Jesus, and there is no resurrection, and they believe that what we see is all there is. And I want to say, they're about as smart as a brick. Because all you have to do, if you really investigate all of this creation, as you'll see, it is amazing. God designed it. God created it. God, it, everything is such an amazing thing in the creation of, of everything that exists. There's no way all this could have happened by accident. But there's some people who hang on to that because they don't want to surrender their life to God. They want to do, they want to be God themselves. And, I, and I, we need to pray for people like that. We should keep loving them, and we keep praying for them, keep witnessing to them, be careful how we live, so we don't want to live like them, but we want to be a godly witness to them, because they need Jesus Christ. He died for them. Anyway, so they bring this whole thing up, and they say, in the resurrection, verse 33, whose wife of them is she? And of course, you remember, they don't even believe this. That's the whole content. They don't believe this. They're just trying to catch him. And say all your beliefs is crazy. Well, they were fools. Acts 23, 8 says, For the Sadducees say that there's no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. So they already, the Pharisees believed in the spiritual and miracles, and the Sadducees didn't believe in any supernatural. They were like political and had taken control of the high priesthood. So you have politicians who don't believe in the spirit, who were in charge. This might explain to all of us, why is it that Jesus Christ could be born, and why didn't the religious leaders run to Bethlehem? Why weren't the religious leaders the one that went to, uh, to, to see the baby Jesus and the child Jesus as he grew? Why is it that Magi came from the east and traveled all those miles over dangerous areas why, and bringing gifts to him, why is it they came and the Jewish leaders didn't get it? It's because they don't believe 
in spiritual things. They don't believe in the Messiah. You're not going to enforce, fix it by training the law enforcement. You're not going to fix it by all more laws and more punishment. You're not going to fix it by taking everybody's gun away because they'll just use something else. The only way to fix the problems in our world is Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior in the heart of every man, woman, boy, and girl. That'll change us. He will change us. I didn't know I was going to say all that, but it's just in my heart today. i got to say the only way to change the world is through faith in Christ. Jesus divides this, this discussion in, in this passage when he says, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. Look at verse 35. But they which shall be accounted worthy. That's not everybody. That's some people will be worthy. And we're going to talk about what is that? To obtain that world. And the resurrection from the dead, neither married nor given in marriage, neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels and are children of God, being the children of the resurrection. So he says, children of this world and children of that world. He's talking about this age and that age, this place and heaven, basically. And so he's dividing it into this world and that world. And that, that world is living in heaven after you've lived in this earth. Jesus points out some differences in heaven from this world, this world, that world. He answers them by explaining about relationships in the next life, which is based upon their understanding and relationships in this world life. What Jesus did is he made it simple so they could understand. They were thinking about marriage and having children and all, so he answers those questions about having marriage and having children and living and dying. That's what they asked him, so he explains it. He's amazing how he just makes it so simple that they could, even, even these guys could understand what he was saying. And he says, he talks about relationships in the next life. Jesus explains in the kingdom of heaven, some things will be very different than here. First, there's no marriage in heaven. It's because they're asking him about marrying and all that. He says, well, that's this life. But in heaven, there'd be no more marriage. It's not the same as life here. The Jews of Jesus' days thought heaven was only more of the same of this life, only better, nicer or better than this life. By the way, you and I will know our loved ones when we get to heaven. The Bible tells us that we shall know even as we are now known. I want everything I have to have in scripture tells me what it is. Our relationship will be different. You know, our relationship with our husbands and wives and our friends and all will be different. Not, not so much, not so much, it's because our minds, all of our minds will be changed. We'll have a perfect mind and we'll have no more anger and no more fear and there'll be no more darkness and there'll be no sin there. Can you imagine? There will just be love and life and no more death, no more hunger, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more sickness in heaven. That's what he says. Second is there's no death in that day. So there's no marriage there in heaven, and there's no death. They didn't understand that. He, he says, neither can they die anymore. I need to get an amen on that. <laughs> neither can they in heaven die anymore. Yeah. He doesn't just say they won't die. He says they can't die in heaven. That's Third thing is they should be like angels. Now in the King James it reads this way. It says, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God being the children of the resurrection. The word equal is not an exact translation of that particular word. It creates a confusion about the relationship of men and angels because it says they are equal. Equal in our way we use English means it's the same as, right? It's equal. It's not what in, they meant when they translated it. They meant equal in abilities. Live forever. They meant equal in no more hunger, no more sickness, no more darkness, and being in the presence of God. That's what they meant equal. Didn't mean the same. It don't mean we've become an angel. And that's unfortunately what's happened. You remember the old the old movie, It's a Wonderful Life, and Clarence is talking about trying to earn his wings. You don't earn your, you don't by good works, you don't go to heaven by earning your wings. 
Angels got wings. God designed them to have wings, they got wings. But you and I ain't going to get, it's bad to say angels. We're not going to have wings in heaven. We will not be equal to an angel. I won't be like Michael or Gabriel or so, because I'm, I'm a man that's saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. When I get to heaven, I'll be kissing the golden streets. I'm so glad to be in heaven. And we'll all be given a new body, amen? I don't know about how you are, but my body makes noise every time it moves. <laughs> I used to say, if it moves, it hurts. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't move anymore. That's where that goes. First Corinthians 15 says, So also is the resurrection of the dead. It's sown in corruption. It's raised in incorruption. It's sown in dishonor. That's under the curse, the curse of sin. It's raised in glory. It's sown in weakness. It's raised in power. It's sown a natural body. It's raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. That's 1 Corinthians 15. More understanding of what is Jesus talking about. We're not the same in heaven as we are here. There is a religion, the, the, the religion of Islam. And in Islam, they believe that if they do certain things like blow yourself up and kill some infidels, that you'd be, be able to then go to heaven and you're going to get... 70 virgins and all this stuff. You know what? We need to pray for them. Did you know that we have Baptist missionaries in Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan and dangerous, dangerous places in the world? And these missionaries love these people. And they share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they're trying to see that they might come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and to know you don't have to send your son off to blow himself up in order for your son to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Be saved and be sure of eternity in heaven. You will be resurrected if you put your faith in Jesus Christ. Because I have decided.